Hey folks, Brian Pate from the Pate Realty Group. Had a good week last week, unbeaten, 3-0. and oh. Thank you very much as Rollsville, Wake Forest, and Heritage all won their football games in the back six. You see the standings over my shoulder. Right now we're only one game into the season, so there's nothing really interesting going on. But after this week's game, we'll start to see some shakeup in that. Start to see who's going to stand up at the front of the pack. So, with that said, let's get to the games this week. Our first game, Wake Forest travels to Corinth Holders to take on the Pirates. Last week, Heritage wiped out the, Pir the Pirates 48-8 and Wake Forest blank Nightdale, both in their first conference games. So, Wake Forest has now won 23 games dating back, 23 straight games dating back to the end of 2015. If that streak's not going to stop this week, go ahead and end up, make it two dozen for the Cougars as they roll. You'll see a running clock in the second half as they'll win this one by more than six touchdowns. Our next game is a big homecoming matchup over at Heritage High School as the Wakefield Wolverines that are 0-7, winless on the season, travel over to Wake Forest to take on the undefeated Huskies of Heritage High School. As we told you earlier, Heritage beat Corinth Holders last week. Last week also, Wakefield took it on the chin from the Rollsville Rams as they got beaten at home in that one. Heritage's Joe Kane and Ricky Person were named to the North Carolina Shrine Bowl team this week. And it only went there with only those two. The only reason it happened is because we're only allowed to have two, team, two players from each school on the Shrine Bowl team. Expect the Huskies to win this one, although I do expect with the distractions of homecoming, we may see a little bit closer game than is probably going to be expected by a lot of folks. But expect to see Heritage hold on to win this one and to take it on. It'll be a full, full four-quarter game. There's not going to be a running clock or anything like that. But you can count on the Huskies winning this one. They're not going to slip up against the Wolverines. That gets us to our last game this week, and it's probably the most competitive game of the week, when Nightdale travels to Rollsville. Both teams are 3-4 and four right now. Nightdale currently ranked number 52 in max preps. Rollsville ranked number 55 in max preps, both in the 4A division. Why is that important? Because we got rid of the four-win requirement for the playoffs, and we've gone to the max prep rankings. So both of these folks need to get to the number 45 ranking or higher in order to be able to be eligible for the playoffs. This could be the game that decides third place in the next six, so it's going to be a close one. I think the Rollsville Rams are going to have the advantage because they're going to be playing at home, so I'm going with the Rams to win this one. So all three of our local teams here in the area picking up wins in the next six. Stick with us, and don't forget to go out and join us Friday night at 7 p.m. and catch a high school football game. Have a great week. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down on the bottom, subscribe down here below, or comment on the video. We always love to hear our feedback. Also, don't forget that if you're thinking about selling a home, buying a home, or investing in real estate, please give me a call at 919-669-4575 or visit us on the web at paterealty.com.